Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. Now, as someone who has been working in cloud security for half a decade, I think I started my career in 2019, like dedicated in the cloud, cloud security. I mean, I know a little bit about cloud security and I know how, how much of a good career choice it is, you know? And like, it's going to be very much in demand in the future because of the whole AI boost, which is coming. You know, like I've said many, many times before, Nobody is going to be hosting these AI systems on-prem. Most of the companies are going to be using the cloud. And I, if you follow this channel, you know I write about uh, cloud security certifications and career paths, waiting for people who want to start out in cloud security. And one question which like I regularly get asked by people is like, uh, what are the skills they should focus on? You know, which now that they've decided on cloud security, what tools should they focus on? What skills should they focus on first? Because there are so many services. The problem with the cloud is like, uh, you know, if you're using AWS or Azure or Google Cloud, you can have literally hundreds and hundreds of security services to explore, right? And it can become very overwhelming. You don't know where to start, where to focus on. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Like if you just take an example, this is just AWS, right? And if you click on the security section in their menu, you have like hundreds and hundreds of security services, right? And what happens is I've seen this many, many times like people who have gotten certified and even experienced cloud security people, they jump from one security service to another because all of them seem so amazing, right? And they want to get the experience of all of them. And newcomers often who are new to cloud security, they want to jump into services like Guard Duty or Security Hub or uh, Windows Defender, like, you know, impressive sounding services, which do things like cloud security posture management or threat monitoring. But if you want my advice, my response has always been the same. Like what is the most important technical skill you can have in cloud security? The one you should focus on the first and really build upon it to have like a successful cloud security career. And that is uh, identity and access management, IAM. Yeah, this is not the most sexiest sounding service I know, but this is where you should really have that core foundation built. This is where you should start on before you do anything. And this is what I'm gonna show in this video, why and how to learn identity and access management. I'm not going to be teaching you identity and access management because there are like a million videos already present on the internet for that. You don't need me for that. But what I'm going to show you is how to, why it's important to learn and why you should learn it. So if you're new to the channel, please do like and subscribe to this channel and share this video. That will really help the channel to grow. Thank you. So back to here, uh, identity and access management. So what comes to your mind? When I talk about identity and access management, for I, I think for ninety percent of people, when I say identity and access management, they like the definition from the cloud providers. It's like it provides authentication and authorization. Like if you look at the AWS definition, right? It basically uh, looks at the requests which are coming in, authenticates and authorizes us, and you use it for creating users, attaching policies, and controlling access, right? whether it is Azure, whether it is AWS, whether it is Google. And unfortunately, most cloud security professionals, they think IAM is good for like setting password policies and enabling, enabling multi-factor authentication, right? They usually think I've set down a strong password policy. I've created some users and roles and I've enabled MFA. So now my like job is done. It's finished. I don't need to do anything else. And this is where the major mistake happens. Like the, uh, Believe me, IAM is easily the most important cloud service you can focus on. And ignoring it is a serious mistake because it is the starting point for most of your cloud security posture. It touches every service. And this is where most security violations happen also. So if you want to control what a user can do, it is IAM. If you want to control what a cloud workload, a VM can do, it's IAM. If you want to stop privilege escalation, again, IAM. If you want to control third-party access, if you want to enforce like a zero trust model, Again, I am. So I hope you understood why it is so, so important to like understand identity access management. And now I want to give you, like I said, a quick roadmap for how to learn it. Like what are the sequence of steps? Like I said, I'm, this video is not about teaching you how I am works as they are like uh, much better people than me on the internet. They've, they've taught it for free. Just choose whatever provider you're using like AWS or Azure or Google and just find YouTube, you'll find completely free videos teaching you the whole. But I want to talk about how to learn IAM, right? And this is where a lot of people make mistakes. First of all, start by doing. Uh, what does that mean? Start by doing. A lot of people, they'll just watch videos about IAM or they read about it. You do not learn IAM by reading or like watching videos. You learn it by trying and 
failing to create IAM policies or failing to create users and troubleshooting them. So get a free AWS account, a Google Cloud account or AWS free tier account and start creating some policies, you know, start with the basics like creating some users, creating some user policies, permissions, like this is like the AWS screen. I work in AWS, sorry, so if you feel I'm biased, <laughs> it's just easier for me to talk about AWS, right? But this applies to any cloud provider, whether it's Azure or Google, just go down to the permission screen, start creating some users, start creating some permissions, start looking at how to create, how to restrict their access, how to enable MFA. Don't just read about it. Don't just watch videos of other people doing it. You will not learn like this, okay? You will you will encounter lots and lots and errors and you will have to fix them and this is how you will understand how this works so now that you the first principle was please do not passively read or watch it videos actually go down to the im console and start playing around with it the second step is understanding json so most more often than not im policies are implemented in a json format it's like a simple easy key value pair format it follows like a nested structure and i'll show you this is uh, it makes it ideal for writing im policies most people they want to skip learning json they just want to use the console but that is another mistake because if you completely ignore json it means you will have a seriously difficult time when policies do not work and you have to troubleshoot them and you won't be able to understand right because you never bothered to understand how json works so if i give you this policy will you be able to understand it right or you will get a big headache now, at least a little bit of the understanding you should get. You should be able to look at JSON and understand, okay, this is what the JSON file is doing. And honestly, this used to be a little bit difficult uh, two years back, right? Because at that time, you didn't have these AI tools like ChatGPT and Bedrock and all those, right? But now you can simply take uh, IAM policy if you're not understanding it, put it into ChatGPT and it will explain you step by step, right? So like I took this policy and I put it to, into jad gpt now this it really literally will explain to you step by step what the policy is what's it doing and you can prompt it again and again don't just blindly accept what it's doing but it is a very it's a very very good teaching assistant if you really want my opinion so don't neglect tools like chat gpt now please uh disclaimer i'm not telling you to please take your company's policies and start putting it in chat gpt you're gonna get into serious trouble <laughs> i'm just saying if you're learning i am using these AI tools, they're a great way to understand those IAM policies. So now you've understood JSON. What's the next step? Understanding the IAM policy flow logic. What does that mean? Well, I, every request that is processed in the cloud, it follows like a policy logic. Not all policies are evaluated at the same time, right? It follows a like sequence. So different types of policies are evaluated differently at different times, and it can get quite complicated. So this is just an example of the AWS policy evaluation logic. You don't need to understand all the details, but just understand, right? How does it start? What happens? Like, what is the policy which get evaluated at the top? And then what's the next policy? What's the next policy? Most of these won't be applicable immediately because you're not uh, like, uh, be, you won't be creating them immediately, but you do need to understand. So start slowly and then play around with the other types of policies and see at what sequence they like get uh, implemented right because this is quite important as you get more and more powerful policies if you don't understand how the im policy the logic works you won't be able to understand right so that was number three and the last one i want to talk to you about is put your im skills to the test now if you've gotten a good understanding of how these things are working you really want to be actually check it out right um, push yourself by actually looking at real world scenarios and like real world situations and then trying to find and create IAM policies which help you uh, what, what you call mitigate these scenarios, right? And you, there are many, many ways of doing it. A few of them, which I can recommend right away. And these are situations I have faced, like because now that you have a good foundation, these are some examples I can give you which can help you to push yourself. And these are based on real life situations, right? Like for example, how do you prevent a user administrator from doing a privilege escalation? How can you like create roles which allow people to move from one account to another? How to configure SSO within two different cloud providers, right? AWS and Azure AD. How do you create context-driven policies? Like it's not just about user ID and password and MFA, right? How do you take into account other things like people's IP address, the time, or like their user behavior risk score? And lastly, how can you automate? user reviews within the cloud. So you don't have to review thousands and thousands of permissions. If you've ever worked in the cloud, I can tell you 
after a little while you will have hundreds to thousands of users with hundreds and thousands of policies if you don't automate this you're going to have a serious problem later on so that is what i wanted to have a quick overview guys what the most important technical skill in my opinion is iam focus on it have a good foundation on it before you move to the other tools this is easily the biggest mistake i see people making they don't give iam the respect that it deserves right and mastering iam is essential to move towards concepts like zero trust so i hope this motivated you to take a deeper dive into iam concepts and there are many many good videos on it i link one video from aws which is my favorite on iam policies and i'll link it in this video in the comment section okay do take a look i hope this video is useful to you thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video thanks